Uh, you'll want to grab an umbrella uh, because we first deal with heat and humidity, but then we have a chance for some pop-up showers, possibly a thunderstorm. So want to talk about your headlines. A heat wave, probably. We had uh, 90 degree temps over the weekend. Looks like we'll do it again today and tomorrow. So three consecutive days of 90 degrees or higher makes a heat wave. Our chances for rain actually go up as we head toward the middle of the work week. Finally, finally, later this week, the heat breaks. So if you love the heat and humidity, I want you to really enjoy these next couple of days. They are for you. We're taking a live look outside um, at Central Park. Looks great this morning. Uh, this particular reading saying mostly cloudy. OK, I see some blue sky out there, but that's fine. Whatever. It's all good. 79 degrees. That's the official temp right now. Winds are out at the southwest at 12 miles an hour. We are looking at 74 degrees in Wappingers Falls. We've got 76 for Slotesburg, Ossining and Terrytown both at 78 degrees and New Rochelle is at 80 degrees. So it's warm across the board. We're starting this day with warm, muggy conditions with the exception of some communities up in uh, Sullivan County where we've got some upper 60s. Everybody else is in the 70s here and a lot of locations already in the upper 70s. 93 degrees, that's the forecast high for today. 84 is what the National Weather Service considers normal. So obviously we'll be above that closer to the record today. The record's 99. We are forecasting a high of 93. So only Six degrees shy of tying the record. Sunrise this morning officially 559. Obviously, it's kind of light already out there. Sunset today at 803. So we should see plenty of sunshine, a little bit of cloud cover out there at times. Right now, not a whole lot to talk about on your radar, but you can see that we do have a lot of activity associated with this cold front to our north, but then also as you head out west. So we got a couple days before this front can completely pushes through our area and we'll have several chances for rain. Now we need it since June 1st. We now have a 2.14 inch deficit. And so if you are with us each morning, you know that it's it's been going up, right? We were had a big rain and we're like, OK, right, we're at like an inch and a half. Now it's an inch and three quarters. Now it's two inches. Now it's over two inches. So we continue to see this deficit growing. We do need some rain and we've got several chances for it. Uh, starting today, three o'clock, a chance for some pop-up showers. So you see that there. Six o'clock could also be looking at some activity uh, across parts of New York City. We head into the day tomorrow, another hot and humid day. We'll see some showers and thunderstorms first to the north, and then it looks like as we head into your Tuesday uh, late night, we could see some shower activity in and around the city. And then Wednesday, again, gives us more chances for some wet weather. And then this is your Wednesday evening, could bring us some more significant rain. When it's all said and done, this particular model says outside of the thunderstorms, not a huge amount of rain, but where those training cells set up, we could pick up more than an inch of rain. So just know you'll want to grab your umbrella, keep it handy over the next couple of days. Uh, red alert for us today and tomorrow because of the heat, humidity and the thunderstorms. But by Friday, we're talking a high of just 82 degrees. Cindy Shue, look at that low 80s for your Saturday and Sunday. With that, I'll send it back to you. Elise, we'll have to do something. Finally. No. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much.